But first, the London group that claims to possibly have the longest delayed second album of all time. 25 years after they flew to the top of the charts with their first album, Turn Back the Clock, Johnny Hates Jazz is back in the recording studio. They're best known for songs such as this. Now you're giving me And they join me now, Clark Datchler and Mike Nasite. Thanks very much for, for popping in. Welcome. Haven't changed that much since uh, since the video. It's kind of you to say. say. <laughs> so what's it like for you two working together again after all this time? Because it was back in 1988, I believe, that you stopped recording together. It's great. It's been very, very natural. Mike and I knew each other and worked together for some years before the, the formation of Johnny Hates Jazz, which happened in 1986. Um, and then we reached 1988 very successful, parted ways, and didn't speak for 22 years. Wow. So I decided eventually to call Mike up. I said, hi, Mike, this is Clark. He said, hey, Clark, how you doing? We met up, had coffee, and it was like we had seen each other the week before. So very natural. Yeah, was it as natural for you as well, Mike? What was it, like for you? It, was, it, it, was, it had been such a long time that it, it, just did, it felt like I'd seen Clark the month before because of the, it was such a long time, as I say. Now, why has it taken so long, though? As you said, you guys have not spoken in years. Why? Why is it taking so long to get back to the studio? Well, it wasn't a premeditated decision. I think there was a sense that the right time would, would come one of these days. Um, it really happened because I started writing a song, which is our, our new single, Magnetized, and I deliberately decided to write a song that was Johnny Hates Jazz-esque, and I hadn't done that for a long time. And as I was working on it, I was thinking, this is good. This really could be the beginning of a, a new Johnny Hates Jazz album. Well, let's hear how, how good it is. Let's take a look at Magnetized. Do you want me to die, or is it that our hearts are magnetized and our worlds collide for a reason? You're right, it does have a Johnny Hates Jazz kind of vibe alongside it, especially sort of the synthesizers, the 80s synthesizers. Do you think that there's pressure on you to emulate the success that, that you had, especially uh, with, with your first and second singles? Not really, because all we did was the same thing we did the first time. We went into a studio with uh, some of Clark's songs and made a record of those songs. So we followed the same process. So the fact that it's been so well received at radio is a, is a bonus, but we had no idea that that would be the case. Yeah, did you ever, was there ever an inkling in, in your mind that, that people would still have an appetite for those kinds of songs? You know, I think it was a risk that we, we decided to take. And there is an, an interesting movement musically now where there's a, a strong emphasis returning to melody. And, uh, and I also think we've made an album which is, uh, is well suited for this time. We are people at this time, after all. We've changed and evolved over the years. So, so that's a natural part of what we've done. OK, well, Mike and Clark, thank you very much for joining us. And good thank luck you. with the album. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks, Moving on now.